What's up guys? Welcome back to another video with the Hidden Puma. Today we are looking at dev blogs. Yes, I know this one's a week old. Yes, I know the other one's a couple days old. But we're doing it and I'm late and I know I'm late. So, let's go ahead and start with uh, the roadmap for Enlisted. Enlisted keeps moving forward. Communities, yeah, we're, you know, we're, you guys can read that if you want. But this, this is the important part here. We have new class with unique mechanics, and somebody pointed out this is like in the perfect row for the update orders that you would have, but you can also say the same for, no you can't, because it says new battle pass down here. Anyway, it says new class, new mechanics, new battle, battlefield in Normandy, and I think that means new campaign map in Normandy. Maybe it's just regular battle though. Uh, announce something. And they want to keep that hidden. As you can see, they want to keep a couple of things hidden. Uh, new Battle Pass season. Of course, big events. That's going to be across the board down here. Uh, major UI upgrade. New progression system. New battlefield in the Pacific. That'll be very important because we only have Guadalcanal and... F I believe it's the Florida Island chains. Anyway, it's only one island on it or Florida Islands because it's not a chain they're part of a chain Guadalcanal and all of them are all together uh, new type of aircraft for weapons um, the only thing I can think of is either guided munitions or torpedoes and thinking about that boat that's in the files it's a PT boat that's hidden in the files well not so hidden because you can spawn it New battle season, yeah, I already said that. Uh, then you have OBT is over and the game is released. Launch on Halloween, I'm going to make a guess. Or more accurately, launch on, hmm, what would this be? Probably the anniversary. New campaign in a new format. I have no idea what that's meaning. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Though, it kind of ties in with the uh, other dev blog we're going to be covering in the same video. Something hidden, new campaign in new format. New type of ground vehicles with unique mechanics. Now that one, nobody's been able to figure out what they might mean by that yet. For all we know, it could be the SDK of Z222, like which is what they're adding to War Thunder right now. And it could be, or the Puma, rather, would be another good example. Either of those two vehicles are like scout vehicles, and they can do reconnaissance, maybe, do like radio calls. Maybe that's one, or maybe it's half tracks and and uh, opal blitzes and deuce and a halves. And they're going to be driving around with a new mechanic for spawning, like a spawn beacon. Or possibly boats, or airplanes I don't know nobody knows what the new squad will be new class a lot are thinking oh it's going to be a lot of people have said that they think it's going to become paratroopers but unless you are playing the entire campaign map in and you're playing the entire campaign map in a custom battle there there's no room for them The maps are a little bit small. And here's the last little thing. Recap. Roadmap for what they're planning to do, pretty much. Yeah. Here we can see that they were promising us to see the new, dev, the new progression system very soon. Now, with that said, on here... Let's go look at the new dev blog, or newer, about the progression system matchmaking. I like the image, apparently though, somebody said not to take that too literal. I'm not sure, I'd have to read it again, which is what we're going to do now. In this dev blog series, 
we will share with you upcoming major changes to our, in our game. We'll be talking about the new progression system, updated mechanics for creating sessions, and other improvements that address issues disco discovered during the open beta t stages of an listed. Would have been easier if I just said open beta test. <laughs> we're moving forward. Or we're moving towards the release and making sure Enlisted is at its best when we get there. Research tree. I like I like tech trees. This is gonna be interesting. In the up in the update we'll move away from linear progression to a research tree format. You'll be able to choose which weapon or vehicle you want to unlock first, or skip the entire branch if you th simply th don't need any of them. If you simply think you don't want any. Yeah. It's also a much clearer development format. It's also a much more clear format that will make it easier for us to add more intermediate gear into the game. And yeah, I, I agree. I think the tech tree system is going to be awesome. I can't wait. New look at the campaigns and battles. And this is where we have many questions. In fact, I think it caused more questions than answers, but it did provide answers. But don't worry, the questions will all be answered soon, hopefully. I was actually expecting there to be a new blog to explain this a bit more today. In the update, enlisted it. Enlisted, you will prog yeah, you will progress one country once and for all. The need to start the progress of an already familiar nation anew in each cam new campaign will be over. In other words, what that means is you don't have to start over from car 98 ever again. You start out with a car 98, you never have to get it again. Many commanders will discover new features, or theaters of war, my bad, not features. Theaters of war, which they may have previously avoided due to prospect of long development from scratch. Now whether that means that they're going to force you into other campaigns or not, that's a different question. A further improvement follows on from this one, which is no less significant. Okay. In the upgrade, upgrade. It is an upgrade. In the update, enlisted all campaigns and their hundreds of millions. Huh. I didn't think there was. Oh well. Will be combined into one huge pool. At the touch of the two battle button, the matchmaking engine will. Engine with advanced rules will create a battle for you. With location fitting with the uh, selected country okay so with a location fitting with the selected country I think that means that you're going to have let's say Russia can only fight on the Eastern Front and Germany can fight on Japan can only fight in the Pacific stuff like that meanwhile a new campaign New campaigns will keep appearing in Enlisted. With their release, we will launch in-game events where you'll have the opportunity to try these new items until the weapons in detail receive unique rewards for the participants and unlock special achievements. After a while, these new missions and con content will enter the general pool of battles as well as research trees of related countries. So pretty much when they release a new campaign, they're going to be having events to help you progress a little bit into that little campaign. But do these changes mean that most of enlisted locations, timeline, and 
of weapons and equipment available to them will end or expand. I'm sorry, I saw the E and I saw the ND. Will expand. Indeed, in some cases, they may be more deviations from historical accuracy than what we occur than what we currently have in the game. We believe the advantage of the update enlisted over <laughs> overweight outweigh the ab abandonment of the complete accuracy. Well, this is interesting. Why would we be interesting about that? Well, we'll see. But we want to hear your opinion as well. In ad addition to balance out this aspect, which may dis be a disadvantage for some players, we are implementing a new feature. Well, let's see what the new features are. In the update, enlisted missions will and listed missions will still be linked to specific countries. If you queue up, up as a Soviet Union, you will only see Moscow, Berlin, Stalingrad. Even the soldiers' uniforms will automatically change to match the historical locations and periods of the battle. Circumstances mechanics will be... Or circum, cu circumstances. Customization mechanics will be implemented too so that you can customize the soldier's appearance for each historical period separately. In other words, your customization will still be there. Okay, so it looks like the Soviet Union will only be able to play those campaigns. And it sounds like you could also queue a map, like which campaign you wanted to do. But you're going to have, like, all the weaponry of the... Okay. There, There is a concern for this, and I'll mention it later, because I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll have to reread this over with you guys real quick. But that that's kind of important to read that one there. Rating based on matchmaking. Or maybe it's this one. Rating based matchmaking. In the new environment of combining campaigns and armies... Matchmaking will learn to divide World War II weapons into several stages of a development. Depending on the equipment of your soldier, they will be assigned a combination rating, and in the first stages of the matchmaking, where the engine is selecting participants for battle, it will try to assemble a session of participants close to each other in terms of rating. If there are not enough, or I'm sorry, if there are enough players in a queue willing to enter a battle with weapons match machines close to level of development, the battle will initiate taking by taking into account the rating of, of its participants. If the waiting time is too long, the matchmaker will assemble a classic session without taking rating into account, meaning that if it's short, they're, they're going to pretty much make a BR system kind of like in War Thunder for your weapons. If it's short, you know, everybody wants to play that. Uh, you have a short queue time, and a lot of players want to play. That means that you're going to be relatively balanced and have a good thing. But it says here that uh, if it takes a long time, you'll have World War. You could potentially have Tiger Twos fighting people with only uh, bolt actions. And any bitty little tanks. Talking about seal clubbing. <laughs> Enlisted newcomers will be able to get used to the game with much more comfortable conditions. While experiencing commanders will be able to measure their strength against worthy opponents. Let's be real. They're going to start making alt accounts of seal club. <laughs> or more accurately, they're never going to equip the big stuff. They're just going to equip the little stuff. Custom matches. Fans of purely historical battles will not be able, will not be neglected. We will keep the custom matches mode with the ability to create battles with unique settings and even expand the functionality by selecting specific campaigns and the list of following weapons as you requested. Keeping your pro progress. Still keep grinding, guys. Still keep grinding. It, it's important because, uh, yeah. 
To begin with, there will be no wipe, so you don't need to worry about that. I don't think they can wipe it without the game le up and leaving anyway. And very rarely do games wipe when open beta is over. You will keep everything you've earned during the glorious exploi <laughs> exploits in the old version of the enlisted. All weapon squad soldiers vehicles you've earned and unlocked complete with all your upgrades and carry over into a new campaign and combine can be combined with your country. At the same time, the importance of campaign progression in the current system remains very high because each campaign has unique content which will then merge into a into one uniformed army. We suggest you continue leveling campaigns into current version of Enlisted so that after the huge changes you will have access to all the unique weapons and vehicles. Some people are just saying that oh and you know it's, it's everything's going to be put into the tree but I think there might be some stuff hidden that are more unique. I at least hope I get to keep some of the squads for their name. <laughs> um, that's not all. These are just the main uh, directions enlisted will soon be t heading, and we'll were yeah. and we've only over. We've only covered them briefly. There will be another dev blog in each in which we'll tell you about squad progression in depth, the replacement of complicated order system with a simple currency as well as a very often requested in feature like renewing or rewarding players for joining a random side in battle and much more. Until then, take another look at these plans yeah, I'm just saying, take a look at all the old stuff, and uh, the third new dev blog about the new meta will focus on answering your questions. Well, there is... A, okay, so they're waiting for us to ask a bunch of questions. That, that's what I got out of it. So, I don't see anybody saying that this is not... It does say work in progress, so this is not finalized by any means, but... Take a look at that. That's you got your rifles that you upgrade through. You got your assaultas. Looks like a machine gun squad. You unlock them separate. This must be semi-automatic. One of these. I don't know. You have your armored divisions. You have your air. It looks like they're putting attacker, bombers, strike, all of them inside the same line. Hmm. This might change things a little. Because remember how you had to research the radio squad before? Engineers, etc. I think you're going to start out with the basics of them. Anyway, you start out with an AT guns, mortars, prob probably a flamethrower down here somewhere. Because they can be overpowered in the right situations. And of course you have your premium and event line unless the event line is up here in the main tech tree. Who knows? And that... Is it not? Hold on. There's another picture of this that shows you a little bit more somewhere. Is it in this one? No. Just under news? Aha! There it is. You can see the rank. You can see soldiers. Quarters, shop, weapons, battle pass. Looks like you have your squads down here. Two battle squads. They're in a squad themselves. As we can see. Might be a little bit darker on your end. Hmm. I think we can verify real quick. Weaponry. 
Okay, so weaponry will be your tech tree. Very fascinating. Very fascinating indeed. Well, I know what I'm grinding. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going down the tank line. Mm -hmm. Unless it's specific, then I'm going down the airplane line. <laughs> now, as I was mentioning is, what does this mean for Japan? I'm pr they're going to be their own country, I'm pretty sure. And the tech tree line, but they're, I guess they're going to just have lower BR stuff, but I guess if the matchmaker doesn't have enough people playing USA at uh, a lower ranking, I guess Japan's going to be fighting Pershings and late war stuff. And then, is there a line that they will draw if they add uh, Korea, Vietnam, etc.? Because that could mean Japan would be fighting potentially Abrams and M16s and stuff like that if they do Gulf War. I also think they might do a fictional war between a couple of countries. Maybe. That, that, but that'd be like years down the line. So exciting news, guys. Um, Yeah. I'll catch you guys next time. Like, subscribe, check out my Discord. Peace.